put a finger down is you read library ebooks and then you tell yourself you're gonna put a bunch of books on hold and none of them are gonna come in like they're all not gonna come in at the same time but that's a lie because then all of a sudden they all are available at the same time and now you've got like four books you need to read because they're all due at the same time hi my name is Carly um, welcome back to whatever the heck I want to do and I decided this would be a reading vlog because I've got about four books and they are all due within this next like week and I thought it might be fun to try and like see if I can read them all in their due dates because yeah like I said they all came in at once down I've got three books due next week and then one book due the week after all over the books that I have got out that I want to read before they are due. So the first one is Priory of the Orange Tree. I've been reading that. I am almost done with it. We'll get more into this. Second one due will be Practice Makes Perfect. The third one is The Lives of Puppets. And then the fourth one is A Tempest at Sea. And that's in order of the due dates. So let's see. Today is September 7th. Um, Thursday, September 7th. Priory of the Orange Tree is due... Sunday the 10th so I've got a couple more days to read it um but like I said I've been reading it I have about 200 pages left um so I think I can do it uh the next one due is practice makes perfect that one is due Thursday the 14th so I've got about a week and that's a romance one I read the first book in the series so I think I will be able to get through that pretty quickly third one due is lives of puppets that is due Friday the 15th I'm hoping that as soon as I finish priority I can basically finish Practice Makes Perfect and then immediately finish and start start and finish Lives of Puppets. And then my fourth book, finally at last due, is A Tempest at Sea and that is due Friday the 22nd. Um, so that gives me about a week to read that one. And all of them except for a priori, I think I should be able to get through pretty quickly. But we'll see. Like I said, I've been reading priori. I have about 200 pages left. I was hoping that maybe I would be able to finish it today but it's almost four and I have gotten the massage, driven up to South City 30 minutes away to drop off my brother's truck, made a granny square, made a bookmark, so I started a second granny square, um, and have not done any reading. So we'll see how far I get there. Um, but as it stands, I work the next two nights and closing, the only good thing about the closing shifts is that there's about two hours there where I and by myself and there's really no customers and so I do get a little bit of reading done in that time um, and then I will have Sunday and Monday off so I can get more reading done then and then I work like all next week um, but I should be able to get reading done before bed on those nights okay my camera is about to die so yeah that's what we've got going on I think I am going to try to do some reading now and not cry about the kind of messed up granny square or second granny square I was trying to make. Okay, I'll check in with you later. Okay, so I haven't really done much reading right now. I got distracted and I just absolutely had to figure out why my second granny square was just not working out. I figured it out. We're good. I got that done and out of my brain. So now I can focus on the reading. Um, what I really wanted to do was, uh, I saw this, I think her name is Rachel Catherine, um, and she was saying, in a video I had watched, she was saying, putting on, like, a, um, Rain Noise YouTube video or something, and I really wanted to do that, because I did that the other day, and it was wonderful, um, but it is, the sun is trying to peek through, there is blue sky and there is some sun, um, and just turning on, like, a Rain Noise, as much as I want to, does not it just doesn't fit the vibe today. Um, so we're gonna have to deal with that. But I haven't really read much because of all of those things. I've been doing a little bit. Um, I know I said I want to like try to finish this book, Priory of the Orange Tree, um, today. Don't know how much that's gonna happen because at some point I do want to like shower and go to bed and well I could purposely stay up later tonight. It would do me good to get me prepared for my next couple days of work but I also don't like staying up late. So at the very least, I want to get to like the next section 
which is about a hundred pages from where I am. And I think that is much more doable today. Um, I think I could have renewed this book. I did literally get notification today that my loan is due soon. I'm like, I know it is. Um, but I kind of just want to finish this book and be done with it and move on to the other ones that I have. Um, I went into this because I was just felt ready to try and read it because it is massive and intimidating and I had heard very mid like mid things about it um, that it wasn't bad but also not like very recommendable I guess if that makes sense and I think it's probably because of the length of it all um, so I feel like I came into this with correct expectations like I don't feel disappointed and I don't feel but I also don't feel very like surprised by it. Um, I think it's one of those books that will do better with like a reread um, just because it is so big and there's so many characters and there's so much happening that like they bring up stuff that maybe was mentioned at the very beginning but I'm like almost 650 pages into this thing like I don't really remember small details from the very beginning of this book. Um, but it is kind of getting a little exciting like we're, things are finally sort of wrapping up and coming together. Um, so I probably give a little bit more thoughts once I finished it, but I kind of wanted just to check in and um, say these thoughts because I have no one else to say them to. That might be too loud, but good morning. It is day two of this reading challenge, reading vlog of mine. Um, I did not really update last night because I was so tired. I couldn't stand it. No updates. But I did not finish my book. But I only have like 50 pages left of Prior of the Orange Tree. Um, and I can easily finish that before I um, go to work today. So we'll get that done. I know I will. But as it stands right now, I've been up for probably about an hour. Laid in bed for a little bit. Did a little yoga, whatever. Um, and now I'm going to make myself some breakfast, some tea, and watch an up newest episode of a show. And then maybe I'll do some reading. But 50 pages is nothing. I'll try to keep you updated. I finished Priority of the Night Tree. Finally. It was fine. I think you're going to go into this. I think you should get the physical book because I kept finding myself wanting to refer back to the maps, which is hard to do on a Kindle. Um, and then when I finished it, I realized there was like a glossary and all this stuff that actually would have been super helpful to kind of know about. <laughs> I mean, I guess I would have known about it if I looked harder and table contents but it would have been easier to flip kind of back and forth between reading and the glossary and the maps if I had a physical copy of the book. 
all in all, I think it's about a three, and I think it's one of those books that will get better if you read it multiple times. I'm not about to read it multiple times. I'm gonna take a little break and then start my next book at some point today. Ignore the wet hair, but I had to take a shower and wash my hair before work today. But it's day three, I think, of this little reading challenge thing. Um, that's about 12.45. Um, and I really have not done anything. I watched an episode of my show. I kind of slept in a bit because I am so exhausted. Because um, I listened to Eric Nam's new album, which is good. Definitely need more listenings too because I'm seeing him in a couple months and well, obviously he's gonna play all his new music. So I need to know it, my heart, by then, which I will. I will be listening to this album. And I've been crocheting. I don't have the thing on me, but like, it's getting big. At this point, I'm just gonna make one giant granny square blanket. That's going to be like the first project I ever do because I just don't want to stop. Um, but reading, reading, I have not done. Um, I did manage to start Practice Makes Perfect last night. I only got about a chapter in. I could have probably technically read a little bit more, but I was on the struggle bus last night. Um, and also I was at my job, so I have other responsibilities that like reading comes third. <laughs> like it comes last in terms of things to do at my job um yeah i read about a chapter got a little into like the second chapter um initial thoughts so far are that it's fine um i'm thinking once i finish this book this author is just not gonna be one for me personally but i am gonna read the book just because the premise of practice makes perfect is way more intriguing to me than the first one when in rome which i did read in rome i do want to read practice makes perfect even if some aspects of it are not my favorite in terms of romance books, but it's also hard to tell if I'm gonna love or hate a book. No, I'm, I'm gonna back check that because I just recently DNF'd a book after just reading the first chapter and I have no plans to go back to that book. But this one I think will be not very, no harm done. Like I think I can finish it very quickly and that I will have an enjoyable time with it. Sorry, there is just a squirrel sitting on the fence doing a little squirrely things. He's super cute. I have the next two days off after today, like I have to work tonight, but then I have the next two days off and hopefully I will get a little bit more reading done, though I am gonna go hang out with a friend on Monday, so tomorrow's Sunday and then Monday I'm gonna go hang out with a friend and we may get some reading done, but like, cause we both like to read, but also I think we plan to just hang out. Um, maybe play some video game stuff. So reading may not really get done then. But reading will get done right now, probably for about an hour before then I'm gonna go in and like have a chill time before I have to go to work. All right, welcome to day something. I knew what day it was in my head. I think it's day four. I think we're on day four. You know what, editing me will like add stuff in. But you're not here for my like brain parts, though maybe you may be. But what you are kind of here for, possibly, maybe, is reading stuff. So, Carly, what time is it? It is 6.13 p.m. That's p.m. That's not a.m. That's p.m. It is a whole ass day. And have I spent my day off just completely reading? And like doing that so that I can finish these books on time. No, I shopped. I told myself I don't need to be spending a lot of money. I'm trying to make a big, 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 big girl purchase right now. Um, and so I should probably be saving like as much money as I can. I uh, know I bought stuff, which you know kind of fed the little like Dean and Gremlin in me that wanted to have more stuff but also in my defense I really don't buy stuff like I don't really go shopping I bought a bunch of clothes today because I wanted more stuff that I wanted like I felt comfortable wearing to work um as well as a couple cute items for me because why not I'm realizing recently how much I don't like my closets like all the clothes I have have served me well but I am so bored with them I want something new to like freshen it up so I bought myself stuff as well as some more crafting stuff, as well as some um, uh, bath bombs, because I love me a good, lush, 
holiday bath bomb. So reading. I did do probably about 45, 10 hour of reading. Um, I think I read around 50 pages, which is easy to do in a book like practice makes perfect. Part of me was thinking I wanted to get to at least like page 100 today and then maybe start the lives of puppets um, just to give myself something different because practice makes perfect just like, well, it may be an easy read. There's so many like little things already that I like highlighted and like rolled my eyes at and I just like, it's very much feeling like not the book for me right now, which is okay. Like I kind of went into it knowing it wasn't gonna be like the book of my dreams. So it, it is what it is, but maybe I'll update more tonight. Kind of doubt it because I get, I like I need to update and then I lay in bed and suddenly it's like 11 o'clock and all I want to do is sleep and not put myself on camera. That's the update. Now I'm going to go do some other stuff, I guess. Okay. It is day. I don't even remember at this point. But I thought I'd do a little update because um, you won't notice. But I haven't updated in the last two days. I've just kind of forgotten slash gotten bored. Is that two days? I don't know. Either way, I haven't updated in a little bit. There's been not... There's been some progress. Okay. Uh, practice makes perfect. I have about a hundred pages left. Uh, today is Thursday. It, no, today is... Wednesday. It is due tomorrow. So I will definitely finish that book today. I get off at seven. That'll be more than enough time for me to like finish it tonight. That will get read. The next book that is due was um, Lives of Puppets, I think it's called, by TJ Klune. And that's supposedly due Friday. Do not think I'm going to be able to finish that one. Um, I did put myself back on the hold list for it, but that might just, but I'm fairly certain it's going to be just a, um, fail for this challenge. I'll see. Not looking good for that book. Anyway, um, I have to go to work in about an hour-ish, so I might do a little bit of reading beforehand. Definitely will finish Practice Makes Perfect tonight. I don't know that I have very many thoughts on it. I, I mean, I do have a lot of thoughts. I've been highlighting and making notes, but I'll go a little deeper into them when I do a wrap-up. But it's fine. It is a fine We're gonna finish it. There's aspects that I like really like and I really like relate to. And then there's other aspects that I'm like, this isn't bone and corky, this is just awful. <laughs> so it's a confusing book read. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. It's 11.18 and I just finished. Practiced makes perfect. Maybe I'll we'll start in the lives of puppet. Um Maybe. But I finished practice things perfect. Hi, it's day. I don't know. I know that's also my last book, but it's also I haven't um, updated in a couple of days because I uh, work and I've been tired and I really honestly haven't done much reading. But let's do a check in. Not that I'm going to do reading right now. I'm just, I'm doing other stuff. But I felt like checking in. Sometimes this is this just the urges. I gotta indulgent. I think the last thing I did was I had finished practiced makes perfect um, and then I mentioned that I probably was not going to be able to finish um, the lives of puppets and I was correct but I did start it in the lives of puppets. I keep saying the lives of puppets. It's in the lives of puppets. But I did start it just to see to gauge my um, reaction to it just because I've liked previous DJ Klune books. This idea that you form a connection with something or someone that is gonna live forever and then like you're not isn't really a storytelling element I enjoy it just makes me sad um and in the lives of puppets is dealing with a human and robots and so this idea again that like that like these robots are gonna outlive our human main character just makes me sad um, I was really enjoying it and so the book did get returned and I did not finish it but I will be, I am on the hold list for it and I do want to finish it at a later date. But onto the last book that I have that is due, I think Friday, this Friday, because right now I'm recording this on the 17th, is A Tempest at Sea. It is by Sherry Thomas. It is the seventh book in the Lady Sherlock series. So it's a Sherlock Holmes retelling where Sherlock is um, a woman. Charlotte is her name. 
Uh, I read like the first six last year. Um, they were very easy reads. I say that, but I listened to them while I was at work, but I enjoyed them. Like I, it was like I did one after another after another. It, it doesn't require, I guess, much thought. So I'm going into this new one, kind of forgetting details of the last six ones. And I, I'm not going to go back and reread them. I'm just not going to do that to myself. But it's a fun time. This one takes place on a boat. And I was, I literally, before I recorded this I, earlier, I was thinking, I'm like, I think in my last reading vlog, Republic of Thieves, I taught, or no, not Republic of Thieves, um, but I think I talked about how, did I? I don't know. I feel like if you tell me pirates, I'm not all that interested. But like mystery taking place on a boat and a ship in the sea, sign me the heck up. I don't know what that says. So I'm about 40 pages into A Tempest at Sea. I am enjoying it so far. I should be able to finish it. It's already been like a pretty quick read. And um, yeah, I am really excited about the fact that it takes place on a ship. Hopefully I will update a little bit sooner, but I definitely should be able to finish this one before it is due in five days according to my Libby app. So yeah, that's, that is the update right now. It is almost one o'clock and it is the Wednesday the 20th. I don't know how it got to one, but I've been like crafting all morning, but I um, got into crochet and now I can't stop. And yeah, but I swear one minute I looked and it was like noon and now it is what I had done a little bit of reading. I took myself out for breakfast this morning and I did a little bit of reading while I was there eating my breakfast and stuff. It was delicious. I am so glad I went. And yeah, I think I'll do a little bit more reading. It looks like the sun is trying to come out. It's not gonna be very warm, but maybe I will go sit outside on the deck or something with um, a jacket and do a little bit of reading that way. Let's see, remember I am reading Tempest at Sea and I am on page 139 out of 337, I think it is. So I'm making pretty good progress. Um, I'd like to read quite a bit more today and I think I will um because today all I want to do is like nothing I think I deserve it I am so frustrated with my work schedule right now I deserve to do nothing today and I'm gonna do nothing today yeah so I should get a lot more reading done I think that's sort of what's up there's not a whole lot I feel like I should talk more about the book and less about my issues I'm not reading right now but the book is due Friday uh it's Again, a murder mystery type of deal and the murder has just happened and they're like talking to the um, to suspects right now. And so, um, yeah, we've already gotten introduced to like the suspects and the murder victim. And then now it's going to be trying to solve. But um, our titular character is kind of in hiding on this ship and so the guy she's like in love with is trying to figure out how to not like let her identity be known while they're investigating this murder because all of them are kind of up to a different mystery can be acting a little bit more suspicious but it's not related to the murder that has happened but ooh, i just thought about maybe probably the murder and the mystery that was already kind of established at the very very beginning um, which is them looking for some sort of a dossier sort of thing. Um, probably going to be connected in some way or yeah, kind of can't wait to read and continue trying to figure out who did it and why. As much as I want to keep crocheting and crafting, um, my hands, wrist and back would not appreciate me doing so. So um, I kind of need to go do some reading, give my hands and stuff a break. Anyway, that's what's up. That's what's going to happen. Catch up later, maybe, probably. We'll see. Good morning, camera. It is still morning. It's 1040. It is morning. I can say morning. Today is Friday the 22nd, basically the last day of this vlog challenge thing. And I still have not finished my last book. It is due by at about 2 p.m. today. Um, and so if I just like sit down after I film this and like start reading, I think I, I will absolutely be able to finish it. And I want to, I want to know who done it, who did it. Um, but yeah, I think I still have probably just under a hundred pages left according to my Kindle. 
I wanted to do more, yeah, I'm at like 75% off, 75%. Um, I wanted to do more reading last night after work, but I got off at nine and then I absolutely had to watch the finale of A2K. Like the way that show had its grips on me, those girls are so talented. The music, if it's going to be anything like the, that final episode, it's not going to be to my taste, but I'm still going to be checking them out. Had to watch that and then next thing I knew it was like midnight and I am tired and I wanted to sleep. So I think we're just going to sit down. We're going to do a little bit of reading. Hopefully finish this book before it is due back today at like 1.50 p.m. I know I said almost 2. It's almost 2 p.m. Anyway. Anyway. I need to stop rambling and I'm just going to start reading. And just like that, I finished the book in time. Now I have other stuff I need to do today, so I will uh, do a wrap up at some later time. But for now, I'm done. It has been some days since I have finished this little read all my books that are due challenge. Figured I would do the little wrap up now. Um, I meant to do this a few days ago, but I have been so tired and so busy at work that it just was not happening. But it's happening now. If we refer back to the beginning of this video, I had about four books that I had to read in about a week, two weeks time. Um, I ended up reading three out of those four books. It was challenging. <laughs> I was tired and I've been working a lot and so trying to read all these books at once kind of felt like I put myself in a bit of a reading slump because I was like not really enjoying it. I like I hate having that many books checked out at once because like I don't feel like I can really take my time with the books and I'm feeling just completely rushed to finish them all the time. Um, which is not a very fun way to read. Um, also I'll get a little more into it but I feel like a couple of the books I read I just was not really like having as fun of a time with as I had hoped I would be and that didn't have to do with reading them very quickly it had more to do with just like me kind of be like okay these books aren't really for me let's get into it um and i'll explain my thoughts a little bit more so the first book i finished in this video that had i had already started but it did need to be read or i wanted to finish it was called the priory of the orange tree by samantha shannon i ended up giving this book a three out of five stars um this book if you haven't already known um it's a fantasy story it's a one it's a one shot, but it's it's not a series, so you can read the one book and you're done. I know there is a um, prequel that has recently come out as of this video, but you don't have to read that book to understand the this book. Kind of just the typical plot of there is a ancient being, world ending being that is coming back to life, and our characters are going to try, try to defeat it so that the world doesn't end. You end up following about four different characters and. Um, at the end they all come together to defeat the evil. Looking through some of the Goodreads reviews and very much a lot of them I felt like are saying that some point of views feel a little more fleshed out than others. It's been like a couple weeks since I finished this book and I can only think of like maybe two of the characters names so I kind of remember the other ones and one of the characters Tane's point of view I felt like very much especially at the beginning just didn't fit in um, while other ones like Ed I think that's how you pronounce her name, felt very much like this is our big character. Like, that's how I felt. And so then it was kind of like, okay, why am I having these other point of views too? I will say, I feel like I went into this with very appropriate expectations. So like, I didn't have, I wasn't like let down by this book. Um, maybe a little bit, but yeah, a three out of five feels pretty normal. Um, I only say that because I remember when it first came out and it was like really hyped up but this book is like 800 pages long and I was just like not prepared to read that at the time. Now I felt more prepared to read it. Um, way as it's gone on more recently I've been seeing a lot more like it's good it's fine but like not a need to read and I know they're lesbians and gays in it but like you shouldn't be reading a big fantasy book like this just for <laughs> some lesbian or gay 
queer content, I should say. I feel like I went into appropriate. I didn't really have many expectations for the book, so it didn't like blow me away, but I also wasn't like deeply disappointed by this book. Very long. It is very long. And there is a lot that happens. Um, and that a lot that feels like it kind of got glossed over. Like there was a lot that happens and it may be a very long book, but I felt like we were kind of constantly going, we need to go travel this long distance to get this thing. And then that all happened in a chapter. And then we're moving on to the next thing that we need to go visit and do this long distance thing to get this thing. And this should be like some sort of big battle and it's all done in a chapter. So I felt like a lot of stuff was um, almost rushed through because a lot needed to happen to get us to that very final conflict, um, which again also felt very rushed considering we had like built up to that point and then it kind of went, ooh. It was just sort of like, you're, you're kind of just like, oh, this is, it's done, okay. I do think I would have had a better reading experience with this book if I had had the actual physical book because I was reading it on my Kindle. Um, and I just, I say that because I kept finding myself wanting to flip back to the maps, which I saw another review person saying that, like the maps, that, they might have been helpful but then ended up not being super helpful but i digress i found myself wanting to keep flipping back to those maps to um just like figure out where we were in this world um it was really hard for me to kind of keep track of that and then i realized when i finished the book that there was like a glossary in the back that i think if i had maybe had like a physical book i probably would have found sooner and actually would have been helpful for some of this stuff in the book because a lot of stuff i felt like was created just for this fantasy world but was never like really explained and so it was really hard for me to like picture it in my mind and therefore like know what I was reading about. So overall this was an okay read. Um, I don't find myself, I probably won't be reading that prequel. I'm just not all that interested in this world and um, the writing. At least for me I found it hard to stay connected to the characters, which is something that's important to me, um, as well as I found it hard to kind of picture the world. But again, I think part of that is for me reading it on an ebook, not a physical book. So if it sounds interesting to you, go ahead, go check it out. I don't think there's any harm in that. The next one I read was called Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. I gave this one a three out of five. This one is a romance book. It's the second one set after um, When in Rome and it follows one of the characters in that, Annie, as she is consistently treated like a child, even though she's like 28, by everyone around her and then she falls in love with um, the main character of When in Rome's Amelia's bodyguard, Will, who is considered the bad boy in the town. There were parts that I really, really liked. Like I highlighted and noted the absolute crap out of this book. Like, I don't have them up on my Goodreads, but like, there's a lot. There's a lot. Because there are some parts that I just like really, really related to, like, especially with Annie wanting to like, feeling like she's trapped in this bubble of like, constantly being like this child-esque person in everyone's eyes. But her not feeling like that, like her wanting to feel and be treated like the adult that she is. And so I could really relate to some of those lines. And then there's other stuff that might be cute and funny to other people, but like isn't really cute and funny to me, which is um, the whole kind of small town aspect and that everyone is in everyone's business. Like they were literally having town hall meetings about whether or not Annie should be dating Will, which is like such an invasion of privacy. And it's supposed to be like this whole like, oh, how funny, how cute. Oh, but like, I'm like, that's not cute. That's not funny to me, at least. And so those parts and that little over the top parts, like really kind of took me out of the book. All in all, I like this one a little bit more than When in Rome. And the only reason I finished it and read it was because I was more interested in this book than I had been in When in Rome. But I hear something's part of a series and I kind of just need to start with the first book. That's a me problem. Truth be told, I don't find myself really Think I'm gonna read anything more by Sarah Adams. I just I think after these two books I realized that her kind of writing and storytelling style is just not completely for me and that is okay and that's okay. And then the third book that I did finish during this challenge is called A Tempest at Sea by Sherry Thomas. I gave this one a four out of five. Uh, this is the seventh book in our Lady Sherlock series which is a Sherlock Holmes retelling of where Sherlock Holmes is a 
woman named Charlotte Holmes. Um, I, just as a general thing, really loved the series. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, I listened to basically all of them on audiobook like last year during work and um, yeah they were a lot of fun. I don't think there's anything super duper deep about it. I'll admit that it's been quite a few months since I read the last book in this series so coming into this one I kind of forgot aspects that have been built up to this point but I still had a good time and it was fun to be back with these characters. This story in particular it follows um, Charlotte as she is on this boat looking for like this dossier of swords while trying to not be caught by Moriarty's um, kind of minions and such. And so her and Mrs. Watson are constantly in disguise and while they are looking for this dossier on this boat um, a murder happens and so she has to kind of help solve the murder without interfering because no one really is supposed to know that she is on the ship. Like I think I said when I first started reading this, like if you tell me it's a pirate book and we're stuck on a pirate ship, I'm not like excited about it. But when you tell me a murder mystery is stuck on a boat, I'm excited about it. Something about like basically this locked room sort of mystery excites me. So I did enjoy this. I liked, like I said, be back with these characters. I like this world in the story. The only thing that I think was a downfall was that probably about half of this book and half of them like trying to solve this murder is interviews. Lots and lots of interviews. It's basically just like Lord Ingram writing, like recording these interviews. And that's sort of how the mystery is solved, which I think it would have been a lot more fun to have a little more exploration. I digress. Anyway, I still had a good time with this book and I know this is the newest one that just recently came out so another one will not be coming out anytime soon but like I do really enjoy the series so if you're at all interested in it I would recommend checking it out. I think it's a fun retelling of Sherlock Holmes. I do want to make mention the one book I did not finish is In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune. Um, I did end up reading about 100 pages just to see if I'd be interested in like rechecking the book out or whatnot because I have liked the previous two TJ Klune books but this one is about a human named Victor who has been raised by androids and robots. It sounds like androids and robots have like basically wiped out humans. And personally I'm not a big like android robot kind of person so I wasn't sure I didn't buy this book outright just because I wasn't sure that it'd be really my cup of tea um, but I did read the first hundred pages and I really liked what I had read so far. Did that get picked up? So, so that was a bunch of teenagers. I did read the first hundred pages I really liked it so far. Um, not much had happened besides what I had just explained um, but I really liked it. I did put like a hold on it a new hold so when I get that back I will be finishing this book. I did really like it. Those are the three four-ish books that I had needed to read in like two weeks and I read it and I did it and I hope that I don't do this to myself again. If you've read any of these books I would be very interested to know your thoughts on them if they are the same as mine if they're different or if you have some more like deeper thoughts conversations you want to have about them please do so in the comments below. I would love to see them. Anyway Thank you very much for watching this video and um, yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you and goodbye.